Hello, we're back for some more Genshin Impact. Genshin? Genshin. Anyway, I was hoping that I'd get the timing right on this, but essentially you're supposed to wait two days until the appointed time between 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock. And well, I sped up time to about 7.40, so it should be about time right now. I dragged it out. My timing was off. But yeah, let's go meet up with Sucrose. She looks to... Be at the crafting station. I go so fast when you're not teleporting from far away. Sucrose, hi! Sucrose, we're here! That we are! I don't... Oh, Traveler, Paimon. I only just arrived myself, so I'm still getting ready. Understandable. Uh, and Kali just passed by a moment ago. Uh huh. She said she had some things to sort out at the inn where she's staying, but she'll meet up with us when she's done. Sounds good. Apparently, Tainari and Sino both went out, but she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. Understood. How has progress been on your end? Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh eyes, I came up with a new theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. How fresh those I eyes be, though? each of the four things in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, in a way, the prophecy is a test of the reader's intelligence. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So I suggest that we seek out one expert from each and get their opinion. Also, in two out of the four areas, the prophecy seems to want us to find specific people. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. Hmm. So it sounds like we should put our heads together and list out the people who can help us. Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. That makes sense. All right, then let's start from group one. The first riddle was a flower that is not of this world. Personally, I would still go with Albedo for this one. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things, and he is by far the leading expert in this regard. You'd count as an expert too, you know. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetritanic Sweet Flower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for. Probably not. Huh? You really think so? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, but what about Tainari? He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right, I'll add him to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never get lost. Hmm, that's kind of abstract. Hmm, does it just mean someone who never loses their way? Sounds like a compass. Wait, but they have to be able to guide others too. So it's not quite as simple as that. Perhaps an astrologer then? Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she definitely count. Mona. Yes, she certainly seems very confident. And she can use her astrology to guide people. She's so confident that she'll go count? hungry because she doesn't have Mora. And uh, we'll play it off as if she's fine. Huh? Why him? Well, his luck's so bad that as long as you go in the opposite direction from him, you'll always be going the right way, right? That's some messed up logic. Hmm. I get it, but that's some messed I up see. logic. I, I suppose I can't argue with that logic. Argue with it, please. Add it to the list. Finding everyone won't take long, so one extra person won't hurt. Are you sure about that? <sighs> I know. Would Outrider Amber be a valid candidate for this category as well? As long as she never gets lost. Yes, she would. She's got a great sense of direction after all. As a matter of fact, when the Traveler and Paimon first came to Mondstadt, she was actually the one who gave us directions. Yes, she's certainly a good guide. Is there anyone else? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes, I believe there may be one more. Could boss be talking about a moral Albedo compass? Albedo once made a set of equipment for Mika from the reconnaissance company. He's their surveyor and an exceptional pathfinder. Aren't we supposed to begin him as a playable character soon? He's even instructed others in the discipline of surveying before. So in my view... He's highly unlikely to lose his way, and would be very good at helping others find theirs. Cool! Another one for our list! Wait. Kali should have been here by now. Wonder what's taking her so long. M sorry. Could we continue our chat somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, you want to 
go see how she's doing, right? Sure, let's all go. A riddle amidst the crowds. Hire to talk to Kale. This will probably be the best way to do it. it. Looks like she's at about the Adventurers Guild. That's what it seems. Ooh, eggs. I see Kale. Isn't this just a normal house? <sighs> Dang, I don't see any mushrooms. Kale! Hey! We're here. Hi, Kale. Hope we're not intruding or anything. Is everything okay? Is this where she stayed when she used to be here? Like what? Time already? Oh no. I I'm sorry. I bet this is where she used to stay. Back when she lived in Montet. Kali seems to be wrapping gifts. Now she's frankly trying to hide it. Don't I wonder worry. who they're for. The traveler and I only just met up. We Neither were for just us. worried that you might That's get lost along the way. So we thought that we'd come get you. Thank you. I'm ready to join you now. Um, how's that thing going? Sucrose tells Kali about the four riddles and the results of your discussion. So let's pick up where we left off. Next up is the third line. One who would never lie. Hmm. Anyone spring to mind? Maybe the Luke? I feel like it's not a person. Who wouldn't, what would never lie would be the question. Uh, you really think so? Seems like it would be pretty difficult for someone in his position to avoid having to lie. Very true. Oh, yes, yeah, so a secret also hero. The Dark Knight hero. He must... Then what about Kaya? No! He's the cavalry captain time. and a rather popular figure, but... You think there's something fishy about him too, huh? Yeah, he's definitely a sneaky one. Bet he lies all the time. Hmm. Probably. I can't help but agree with you there. Kali's familiar with her. Uh, but on second thought, he wouldn't qualify either. He talks way too much nonsense. But just because he talks nonsense doesn't mean that he's lying. Acting Grandmaster Jean? She has a good name in that regard. But from what I know, she sometimes covers up the truth out of concern for those around her. I can see that. For example, when Lisa loses track of time in the library and misses her patrol shift, I don't Gino think it's a come person. Up with some excuse, like Lisa's ill today. Also, she Rosaria. Up stories to get Clea to behave. She doesn't care what like people think about, about her. The big monster so she'd probably just tell like it is. Who don't go to bed on time. Do you think that rules her out? Hmm. White lies are still lies, but do we really have to reject her because of some harmless fibs? It's not like she had evil intentions. This prophecy seems very strict. No, we're the ones being strict. Rosaria doesn't strike me as the type of person to lie. That's what I said! Oh, Kale, you probably haven't met her yet, have you? She's a sister from the church who looks, um, a little scary and not very sociable. What gives you that impression? She stopped by the alchemy bench once, a long time ago, and asked me about Albedo. I thought maybe she was trying to find him for work or something, but when I asked, she just said that she was curious about him because he was so intelligent and wanted to talk to his assistant to find out what he was like. A lot of people might have given a more tactful justification, but I could see in her face that she wasn't trying to hide anything. She was just very direct and straightforward. That's why Sounds I like don't think of her as the lying type. I feel like Barbara well, might fall into it too. look like the sort of person you'd want to get into a fight with. Maybe she just fights her way out of situations that some people might lie to get out of. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. I've also heard the other sisters say that Rosaria doesn't even make excuses when she skips choir. She just doesn't show up. Does she ever show up to choir? She's a tough cookie, huh? Let's put her name down. In that I case, think Diona's pretty. I think Sino fits in this list too. I think uh, Diona yeah. is pretty well, straightforward as well. more trouble than it's worth for someone like him. Kind of like with Rosaria. Oh, and Paimon also nominates Razor, but he couldn't lie to save his life. 
I've also got someone else in mind. Noelle, the trainee knight. She's a very honest person. I don't think she'd tell a lie. I haven't interacted with her All enough right. to know. Write her name down too. Wait, there's one more person. You know, our long-standing staffer at the alchemy bench. Timaeus? Huh? You mean Timaeus? He yes, lied before. Him. Um, truth be told, he's been love-struck recently. Uh -huh. He swore that he wouldn't say a dishonest word or slack off until he succeeds in getting the woman he loves. Timaeus has a crush? Who would be it Yes, all? that's right. Well, who is it? Do you know her? I've Probably wouldn't never say. Met her. All I know is that she's from Liyue. Timaeus says that she's fun, <gasps> has a great personality, and is very, very good looking. All great qualities, but it says nothing about her identity. I know who it is. She's a pervert. She is a massive, massive pervert. Because that's when he met her. Since we're on the topic, helping Timaeus win the lady of his dreams was also one of my goals for this Windbloom Festival. But how can we help with that? I don't know. Make sure he uses nice paper and a fancy envelope when he sends letters to her. Help him pick a nice gift and wrap it properly. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I had the same situation once in the Avidia Forest. I helped another forest ranger out by delivering a love letter to the co-worker she likes. Yep, that sort of thing exactly. Oh, also, I helped him with some of the groundwork for one of his research projects. He must have appreciated it, because he gave me a refrigeration device that he's been developing as a thank you gift. Is it any good? That is an important question um, to ask. I mean, it looks nice. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a no. Hmm. All right. Guess we'll put Loverboy down on the list then. Yeah, I don't remember what her name is, but it's the perfumer okay, in the OA. So, last of all, we have a legend that never ends. Anyone come to mind for this particular line? Lisa, perhaps? A librarian understands books best, and aren't most legends written down somewhere? I think it's A. Not necessarily, but you do have a point. When I think about legends, fairy tales and picture books come to mind. Maybe Kale. She read a lot of fairy tales when Tainari was teaching her to read. Oh, do I count? When you talk about a legend that never ends, I'll a person striving for eternity seems to make the most sense to me. Are you eligible for this one, Sucrose? I prefer to read things like an illustrated analysis of alchemical substances and their uses, the fascinating principles I know a is of not crafting, and hypotheses of life. Uh, point taken. Paimon didn't quite understand any of those. Hmm. Clay might be a good choice. Her mother, Alice, is a renowned traveling author, so I'll bet she's been exposed to all sorts of myths and legends. It's a possibility. Lisa would too, since she's a librarian. All right then, Klee makes the short list. Well, is that because she's short? Because she's like six. It. Next up, we should go and ask the people on the list about the prophecy. Do we have to ask absolutely everyone on the list? It seems like a lot of people. Mm-hmm. It is. So I was thinking that perhaps we should split up. That might make our search more effective. Okie dokie. Also, I thought of a method of gathering feedback. Sukuro shares her idea with everyone. No problem. We can do that. You and the Traveler are practically joined at the hip, so you two can go together. I'll pair up with Kale. Capable Kale and sensible Sucrose. Sounds like a winning combination. But they're both introverts. Okay. I promise I'll help. Capable Kale. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, having a group of introverts is not a good idea. Traveler and Paima will do our part too. Off we go. Like, I'm not somebody that would want to walk up to somebody and just start a conversation. I have to be extremely close to them to want to be able to I talk to them. starting from the person with the most defined stronghold. So let's go to the library. Lisa should be there. Stronghold. That's an... Uh, interesting word to use. 
What makes you sad? Um, maybe Den? No, that's even worse. Are we breaking off from the Traveler and Paimon? Layer. We are. I like that. As soon as we step in, the cutscene starts. Here we starts. are, Lisa's lair. Oh huh. no, that was a bad word choice. <laughs> now Sucrose is using it. It's all my fault. I think Lisa, Lisa would be fine with it. Might I ask if? Huh? She's not there. Where did Lisa go? Oh, Albedo, Tanari, Sino. What up, though? Sucrose, Kale, what are you doing here? I can only suppose that they were Kale-ing on someone. At least uh, that's as far as I know. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Just stop it with these puns. I beg you. Are you trying to win worldwide fame for unfunny jokes? Um, is Lisa not here at the moment? In? I can try my hand at it if there's a prize. Surprising, isn't it? It's gotta she be a good amount of money, though. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Oh. Except me. I'm not here for information. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, who is also my academia senior. Makes wow. sense. I forgot about that. So you studied in the same that wasn't very long ago Lisa? either for me. That's right. Her mentor Actually, in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. Yep. Wow. That's the name. That's cool. But wait, we're getting sidetracked. We came here to look for some information. Kale and I are investigating a prophecy. And we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh? What sort of prophecy? Sucrose and Kale take turns explaining the prophecy and the information that they compiled with the Traveler. Hmm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world, and me about the one who would never lie. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit any thoughts you have in written form to the Sucrose mailbox. The Sucrose mailbox? Yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. A quick answer off the top of your head might not go into enough depth. So... I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. We don't have to call it the Sucrose mailbox, though. It could just as well be called the Sucrose and Kale mailbox. Or even the Sucrose, Kale, Traveler, and Paimon mailbox. We're fine with Sucrose mailbox. <laughs> I think in this case, we can just go with your quick answer off the top of your head. Sounds like a good solution. Certainly more reliable than verbal discussion alone. Agreed. Certainly when it comes to discerning whether someone is a liar or not, you cannot simply take them at their word. Understood. Once we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on working our way down. Mm-hmm. Already done. They get along well. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. That's what I'm Do you saying! Get the feeling that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes, I'd noticed that too. Traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. This is a new friend for her. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting old haunts a worthwhile pursuit? When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness or youth. But things are different now. Yeah, she can Her have a life. Our being cured was a huge milestone in her life. Of course. Kali is a very sensitive and introverted child. I'm sure you must have noticed that too, Albedo. From the time she's been in my care, I've observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. But she had a very rough start in life, and it changed her. So, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists in Mondstadt were just pretexts i wouldn't say that both kale and genius invocation tcg are very important to me <laughs> would it really kill you to just say yes in this situation fine he's letting loose yes 
We came out of concern for Kale. She's been back to Mondstadt of her own accord several times, but it has led to no significant improvement in her mood. Well, it won't hurt to give her some more time. I believe that Sucrose might be able to help her. Sounds like an extension of your own self-confidence as your teacher. You could say that. In a similar vein, I've heard that Sumeru scholars often build their social relationships based on their academic ones. Is that true? I suppose it might look like that from your perspective. Sumeru society is something of a special case. The reason it is known as the City of Learning is because all of its resources are in some way linked to academia. As such, academic resources equate to social capital. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to pursue further studies. Yawn. But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together, for starters. Oh, so the academic paper is the nexus of the academic family. Hmm, interesting. I would think Sounds of lame. us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. As much as I'd prefer not to admit it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand that position. Makes it sound like he doesn't like I have a younger being friends sister with myself, and it's only natural for me to be protective of her. What you describe fits the idea of a city of learning, as I imagine it. The family is where all social relationships intersect. As such, a family founded on common goals may actually be more stable. By the way, who's the eldest between you? Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. It's funny that the rabbit's saying that. He was a rabbit, In terms right? of age, I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want to admit it. But your mental age is younger than that. I dare say even by enough to be the youngest sibling. Perhaps I could bring Kale into this happy family to be your elder sister. No. You will never see me admit to being the youngest sibling. Mentality Except has nothing to do with it. as a last-ditch effort to turn the tables in a game of cards. There he goes talking about cards again. After bidding farewell to Sucrose and Kale. Oh, this is just story splitting all together. Guess we'll leave Kale and Sucrose to it. Fingers crossed all goes well for them. Now then, where should we go first? Let's try our luck at the bulletin board, shall we? Okay. A lot of people tend to show up there at some point in the day. Maybe we'll get lucky. How do you know that? We never go there. I will when I'm finally caught up on everything, but at the moment, I never go there. Wait, this looks like it's a different bulletin board than what I was thinking about. I was thinking it was over there. What is this bulletin board over here? One right outside the Adventurers Guild? Wow! So many people that we're looking for. Lisa, Bennett, Razor, and Mika. Nice! Just as we hope! There's a load of people here. Huh? Even Lisa's here. Hi everyone, long time no see. Hey there, Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while. How have you been? We've been. We've been doing We've pretty been. well. You look surprised, cuties. Is it because of me? Kinda. Teacher is not at the usual place. <laughs> oh, please. True. It's not as if I'm glued to my chair. Yeah. I like to get out for a little fresh air every once in a while. Mika's here today, so I thought it'd be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. <clears throat> uh, hello. Everyone, M my name is Mika. Hi, Mika. Good to see you again. I, I look forward to working with you. No need to be so formal. We've known them for ages. They're cool. Windbloom, fun? I don't know. Actually, Never about we before. haven't gotten to the fun part yet. We've been busy investigating a prophecy. A prophecy? What a kind? prophecy. A good one or a bad one? I think it's good. You explain the prophecy and tell everyone about what you've learned so far. You would assume oh it's a gosh, good one. That all sounds quite fascinating. 
I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. You really think I'll be able to help? Blame Paimon. Believe in yourself. Right. Believe in yourself. You're a first-rate adventurer, Bennett. Okay. Then in that case, I'll step up and present my thoughts on the matter. Go for uh, it. Except I forgot I'm not really good at organizing my thoughts. Oops. No, if that makes sense. Oh, there's no need to tell us all of your thoughts right here and now. Sucro said she'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench, so you can just write down your thoughts when they come to you and drop them there. A meticulous and efficient plan. Yep, that sounds like Sucrose. I will think also. Give me some time. You still have other people on your list that you need to go see, right? We should leave you to it. Don't worry about us. We'll drop off our letters at the mailbox as soon as we're done. Okay, bye for now. Let's head over to Star Snatch Cliff next. Maybe we'll be able to find some people there. And even if we don't find any familiar faces, you can see really far from up at the top. Maybe we can find people that way. Oh, you're working so hard. Do be sure to get some rest when you can. If you get tired, you know you're always welcome to visit me for a break and a cup of tea. At the moment, Sucrose and Kale arrive at Stormbreaker's Mountain. Or Stormbearer's, not Breaker. Just because I know it's going to go way fast, I read it very, very Where poorly. Where to next? Let me check my notes. Huh, this way. Got it. Kale, please follow me. Find someone that matches the prophecy. Up here? Oh, damn. So. Eula, Klee, Amber, and Noel. I couldn't tell who Eula and Klee were just because of the way they were stacked up on each other. Oh, it's our lucky day. There are several people over there. Amber? Wow! And Eula's with her too! And Klee. And Noelle. Hmm? Oh, it's Sucrose! And Klee also spies. Hmm, the girl with the long scarf. Kali, we were just talking it about speaks you. speaks like she's seen her before. Uh, right, I don't think you've been introduced to Noelle before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you, Kale. I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. So oh, friendly. Uh, nice to meet you too, Noelle. My name is Kale. But you already knew that. Relax, that she did. you two. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Klee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? <laughs> nope. Klee's on patrol with the other knights. So she's not allowed to do any blasting. Huh. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I'd heard that there was a very young knight in the rings, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Trainee? She's it means training. I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. We're just chatting. <sighs> yeah, it kind of looks like Don't it. Don't panic, Kali. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just Amber and her friends. There's no need to be nervous. You're inside the mind of an introvert right now. Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Amber! One of them's right here. Ah, uh, sorry. I, uh... <laughs> at least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Oh, That's no. true. How am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? There's plenty of people talking. Speaking you don't have to say nice a thing. That's a trick We've as an introvert. Had a fairly big Just one let recently. other people do the talking. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me. Uh, I'm saved. Seacrest is giving me a lead in. Now, 
I just need to follow on from what she's already started talking about. Sucrose and Kali, tell everyone about the nice surprise that they've been working on. What an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So, essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Okay. Thank you so much, Eula. I don't think Eula is one of the names said for any of them. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there for sure. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yep, don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. Okay. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains and we'll end at the city gates. You'd be very welcome to join us, but it sounds like you're pretty busy with all this. Um... No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Good call. Oh, yeah. So, um... We'll be on our way for now. <laughs> See you later. Have a safe trip back. Bye, Noelle. Bye, Amber. Bye, Klee. Bye, Eula. Have fun patrolling and chatting. Are you okay, Kali? Yeah, she just had an introvert moment. Uh, was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. She wanted to know so how to join in. it was obvious. Aww. Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Sucrose. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. But Amber's your friend. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Distance does really make me an introvert worse, even if you are a friend I with don't them. Know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me, and if it wasn't for her persistence, I wouldn't have found a friend at all. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, and hoped that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. But after trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no Amber, and I never will be. Just Looking be yourself. Back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that, or nothing alike at all. My personality's so... <sighs> weird. I always get so anxious, and I overthink everything. Same. Aww, Kali, Except for my brain always that. turns off in the moment. I only <sighs> overthink after the facts. Um, Sucrose? I'm relating to Kali a lot right okay now. okay if I told you a bit about my past? Two girls come to a stop at a place with some lovely scenery. As the breeze picks up, Kali tells her life story from her childhood to her recent recovery from Elzar. about her but still why did she have to go through all that uh, i'm sorry we've only just met and i'm already dumping all of this on you this is why i get so frustrated at myself this is an introvert concern for this. sure i get into a spiral of self-doubt and then i end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out no 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 hey, it's fine <laughs> i'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least, I think it's kind of an honor. And, I mean, um, you've probably noticed by now, but I don't have the best social skills either. Yeah. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in and going on and on. But even so, 
Super relatable. You still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things, I never would have guessed that you struggle so much. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we're very similar people. R You're just really? both introverts. Yeah. I feel like that's about where the similarity ends. To deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now, I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. Yes! When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward, I relate to that so much. Oh, and also that part about studying under a genius. In fact, before meeting you, I'd never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Oh. Um. I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything. Same. And I'm not going to tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. I wouldn't do that either. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just sit here together. I like that. Just presence. Sucrose has stopped talking, but for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. I Maybe like right. this more more idea a lot as an introvert. Scenario, I love it. I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery, but it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like one of my test tubes? Why'd you have to break this one's um, Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Back to awkwardness. <laughs> then maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <clears throat> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks sometimes. The next time I get the chance, I have to show you my tetratanic sweet flower and my tetratanic wind bloom. Your tetra what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. I actually think she's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Tomato flavor. Sure. Why not put them together and get a pizza I'll flavor? I'll try the cheese one. Aw, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. Hmm. Shall we go play with them? Nope. Leave them alone, Clee. No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. Get a dog call there, Kali Yula. Needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different who's never met her before. Not someone different, someone I don't similar. Get it. Is there a difference? There You'll is. You'll understand when you get older. You'll understand once you're a little older, Clee. Yep. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. Aw, oh, poor Amber. On the other side, the cold wind sings shrill across the face of Snart. A star snatcher clip. Okay, we're back to us. Yeah. Just sitting there in the presence of another person. That sounds great. Having to talk to them? Not so much. Freaking slimes. I should go faster. This is too slow. What's supposed to happen up here? Are we supposed to run into somebody? Star Snatch Cliff! We made it! Paimon hopes we find someone we need here. Help! Oh, I beg you, please don't let go! Is that Timaeus? <sighs> oh, it's Rosaria. Who's that yelling? Let's hurry and take a look! What's she doing all the way out here, though? Timaeus? It is Timaeus! Rosaria and Mona? What kind of mishmash ensemble is this? I agree. It's weird Good seeing question. all of them together. What kind of a motley crew?
crew is this? It's been a while, traveler. Greetings, everyone, and happy Wind Bloom Festival. You two are looking pretty good. I trust you've been well. Yeah, we've been aight. Yep, we're definitely faring a lot better than this poor guy on the ground. What's amiss? Hey, ace. please don't rub salt in my wound. I really have been trying my best. At what? Oh, you're one to talk. If this sister hadn't grabbed you in time, then you'd have been seriously hurt, if not dead. This is all for I the know, pursuit of his love, isn't it? I really am grateful, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Just lending a hand. Quite literally. And had she not lent him a hand and pulled him up, he would have gone tumbling down the cliffside. What happened? Seems like a long drive. Did Timaeus almost fall off the cliff? That's what they said! Uh, well, so, what actually happened was... I came to Star Snatch Cliff today to pick some flowers and mm -hmm. ran into Mona on the way. She took a look at her scry glass and advised me to turn back because it would be dangerous. But you still came up here anyway? Well, yes, I did. Because there's something I just had to do. Pick oh, flowers. I hardly think giving flowers to your crush is worth throwing one's life away for. Agreed. It's rare to run into someone with a death wish in this area. I don't have a death wish. I just uh, didn't think it would really come true. I mean, when Mona said it would be dangerous, I, I thought I'd be fine as long as I watched my step cautiously. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I was wrong. I'm telling you, I'm just here chasing the love of my life. Love struck Monstatters is what the Windbloom Festival is all about. Okay, that explains you. But why is Rosaria here? I was looking for a quiet place to escape the crowds. I you wasn't failed. planning on having to save a life along the way. Well, you so did it that's anyway. That's why the sky glass just showed danger instead of fatal danger. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, what brings the two of you to Star Snatch Cliff? I don't know. Just We're searching for people. We've the best got I can a say. lot of people we need to see today, so we've been all over the place. Actually, you're some of the people we were looking for. Huh? All three of you. You tell them about the prophecy, the information gathered <sighs> so far see. in the mailbox. So all we'll need to do is find some clues, make a note, and drop it off at the mailbox? Uh, Pretty much. I can't believe there's a prophecy like this, it, let alone that I have a part to play in it. It's only a possible part. Oh, I guess this it's means everyone definite. will find out about my crush now. <laughs> I came here because I wanted to give some Cecilia's to the girl I love. They'll really suit her. She's... No, no, no. No one asked. Please, <laughs> do not subject us to your gushing about your girlfriend. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Crush, not you girlfriend. You saw right through me. You said you need clues, right? In that case, Mona Magistus the Astrologist will provide you with a personally handwritten letter. Okay. Just wait for it to show up in your mailbox. Sounds good. You can be on your way now. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then let's head back for now and meet up with everyone else. Bye for now, everyone. Timaeus, please try to stay safe. Will do. Oh, this is all so embarrassing. Thank you both. Go to the alchemy crafting bench. Timaeus will have the easiest time, won't he? All right, teleport. So now we got a whole bunch of letters to read. That's not going to be fun. Oh, they got it set up. Are you just setting it up or are you getting letters out of it? Oh, but it looks like you two beat us. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Yeah, yep. met up with everybody. We managed to find and talk to everybody. We got back a little early. So we took some time just now to put the mailbox together. We got really lucky today. The vendors were feeling super generous. So we didn't even need to pay for the materials. Wow. It's just a shame that Kali got a splinter. Aww. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm used to working in the rainforest. I get splinters all the time. I've already taken care of it. Yeah, We've already wrapped sense. up everything on our to-do list for today. So all we need to do now is wait for everyone's letters to arrive. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you get some rest while I keep an eye on the mailbox? Why don't you get some rest too? 
Just let it come in. Who's gonna steal your mail? Students, sucrose. As long as you are albedo around, Paimon can relax and know that everything's taken care of. Stop. You're embarrassing me. Uh, wait. Actually, there's one thing that still needs taken care of. Paimon's starving. Uh, hey, traveler, you that's wanna right. get dinner? Your treat. All right, I guess I better get Paimon some food. I'll go with sucrose to return the leftover materials to the vendors. You two, go get a proper meal. We can't have anyone going hungry. Have you guys eaten? Yeah, now would be a good time for a break. Once everything is ready, let's meet up here again and collate all the information we've gathered. Sounds Who'd like a this? plan. That's worrisome. Well, they're not here no more. Goat's a good hunter. Hear that? It's the sound of Mora pouring out of my wallets. Hey, Paimon's really hungry. And don't forget, Paimon's also ordering for you, too. It's not like Paimon's going to eat everything by herself. Now that Paimon mentions it, you realize that you, too, are ravenous. The two of you stuff your faces. Ooh, Paimon is super full. Feels pretty good to just relax and take in the scenery after all that great food. Is everything packed up and ready? What do you think about meeting up at five to go to my house? Yes, Ooh. everything's ready. I've packed some great wine and smoked ham. Oh, your parents will love it. Ah, uh, uh, date night. Ham? Me and the parents. Look, we've known each other for quite some time now. Don't you think it's been long enough for you to remember that we only eat bacon in my house? Wow. That was rude. Hmm. I must remember to get some milk today on my way home. Please, feel free to pay a visit to Cat's Tail anytime. Enjoying the scenery? Fenty! Oh, Tone Deaf Bard! Are you here for some food as well? Should we order something for you? Oh, I can put something on your tab? Well, that's a pity. I already had a few drinks before coming here. I shall take you up on your kind offer another day. There should be no shortage of opportunities in the future. Yeah, probably not. Anywho, you should be getting ready to thank me. I come bearing good news. Hmm? Which is... What kind of good news? Behold! It looks like... A paper with a simple map and something like an incantation on it. What is it? It's what you need the most right now. <laughs> the answer to the prophetic puzzle. Isn't this cheating? Exclamation Simply points. Simply head to the location marked on the map and you'll find the lantern you've been looking for. However, if I were you, I wouldn't just go and reveal the secret right away. As you've seen, a lot of people have been laboring hard to uncover the answer. A secret is like a well-aged brew. The aroma from the bottle is sweetest when revealed in the company of friends. I understand, you alcoholic. Then it's settled. I'll leave you to your business for now. Feel free to find me for a chat again once you're done working through the prophecy. <laughs> also, if you have some time, we could organize another fast track love poem class. Rather not. Oh, you're starting that up again? I sure am. Nobody else has signed up this year, though, so the duty to learn falls on you. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Fenty always looks so relaxed whenever we run into him. Uh, Paimon can't help but be jealous. Excuse me, if you don't mind, could I chat with you for a moment? Okay. Hello? Who are you? Miss Eavesdropper. You may call me Scarlet. Just like you, I'm a traveler visiting Mondstadt from another land. Uh-huh. Mind if I buy you a drink? You can't take me home with you. I'm not drinking today, but thank you for the offer. Leaving the door open for another time, I see. I can tell that you've dealt with a lot of people during your travels. You can tell? Well, we are very experienced adventurers after all. 
I can't. After all. That's why I tried to strike up a conversation with you in the first place. I was on my way to go shopping earlier when I overheard your conversation next to the crafting bench. From what I could gather, you are trying to investigate a bizarre prophecy? Yeah. Yep. Bizarre is definitely the word. Aren't you from Shneznaya? <laughs> Don't you think it sounds just like the kind of story that would happen in Mondstadt? <sighs> anyway, that's why I wanted to ask you a favor. If and when you manage to unravel the answer to the prophecy, could you let me know what it is? Are you interested in it too? Not so much the prophecy itself, but Mondstadt as a nation. That's what I'm interested in. I was born in a distant land, but I have family and friends who once lived in Mondstadt for a long time. They said that it's a great place full of fairy tales and romance and recommended that I come for a visit. As it happens, someone I know has an anniversary coming up soon. So I figured this would be a good time to come here and see all the sights that she once saw. Anniversary of what? Mondstadt so far. It certainly lives up to its name as the city of romance and freedom. <laughs> we think so too. So, about the prophecy. I'll let you know if we find the answer. Thank you. You're very friendly. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. I'll leave it to you then. I hope you continue to enjoy the city and have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. She definitely isn't dressed like a local, huh? Where do you think her hometown could be? I think it's Shnezhnaya. Please find me a flower that is not of this world and a guide who will never get lost. Find me one who would never lie as well as a legend that never ends. Huh? Someone else listening. <laughs> it was Arya. I never thought I'd have someone secretly following me, even in a free city like Mondstadt. <sighs> Good day to you, miss. And that's the end of part two of three. And he's note. Let's read that next time. As for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and do another one of these little events. So, I already did the first one of Floral Pursuit. Now there's Ballads of Breeze. Lizzie the, of the Knights of Pavonia seems busy with something. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll end things off. Let's see, Lizzie. Hello, hello. Hello there, and welcome to the Windbloom Festival. You've come at a good time. We're currently organizing a little game known as Ballads of Breeze. Taking part in this game will allow you to play some lovely tunes, just like the Bards of Mondstadt. How, will I m How can I measure up to Bards? Oh, don't you worry. We've had, um, lots of playtesters in the past. Even someone with zero knowledge of how to play instruments will be able to play something that, uh, won't sound bad too bad. Please believe me. Have faith in the Knights of Favonius. As long as you do your best to keep up with the rhythm and beat, you'll be able to strum up a storm with ease. Focus on only on the wind around you and the lovely song you wish to play, and all your troubles will surely fade away. Well, I imagine bards must be quite carefree then. <laughs> I wouldn't say that for sure. After all, they do fret about whether their song will move people enough to fork over some aura. As for you, you just need to play to your heart's content. But, well, uh, never mind what I just said. I hope you know how this works by now, yes? Well, if it interests you, you're free to give it a go. You can use your own instrument to play some tunes, and if you haven't brought one, we can lend you some. <laughs> Not to brag, but we do have quite a, quite a few on hand here, and each of them is quite different from the rest. Which of these instruments would you like to try first? Uh, the wind song, lyre, the flora... Uh, zither or the festive drum. Sitar. 
I don't care how you say it. I think it's zither. Oh, this one then? No problem. Oh, and there's one more thing. I forgot to mention. Please wait for a moment. I need to consult my notes. Right. In order to make sure that everyone's able to play it the best they can, we've decided to implement a tuning phase to this game. Simply put, we mean to help you tune your instrument to be the best state possible. Don't worry, it's easy. The first step should be... Okay. All right, that should do it. Your instrument's all tuned up, and the musical scores should be ready as well. You can start any time now, so long as you want to, of course. All right. So this first one, normal. Attain dual chem. Normal. Good performance. During the performance, different notes will appear on the screen. When a note falls on the decision line, strike the decision line to score points. The amount of points scored will vary depending on the timing of your strokes. A long note is represented by a long strip of light. Hold the button to, uh, to play the note, then release after the light strip disappears to score points. Okay, I'm ready. Throw him my way. I keep thinking that it's going to go wider, but it never does. How do you do this on console? Oh. What really sucks is I got email and a text message right as I was doing that. Only two stars. I'm not doing that again right now. Yeah, for now, I'm going to leave it alone because I have to get going. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, deuces. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. The roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta. Mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.